Suppose that 5.92 grams of potassium permanganate, that's KMNO4, is dissolved in enough water to make 200 milliliters of solution. What is the molarity of the potassium permanganate? So let's start off by giving the definition of molarity. Molarity is the moles of solute over the liters of solution. So what's the solute? Well, that's the thing that we're going to dissolve into the solution. In this case, that'd be the potassium permanganate, which looks like this. It's a bunch of crystals in solid form here with a uh, little bit of a uh, purplish hue. If you remember, permanganate is purple. And if you were to dissolve this in water, you'd get something that would look kind of like a pinkish, purplish solution. So we need to calculate the moles of permanganate that we have. And right now we have the grams of permanganate. That means we're going to have to do a conversion. So we should probably get the molar mass of permanganate. And to do that, we're going to need oxygen. We're going to need potassium. And we're going to need manganese. That would be Mn. So if I were to do the molar mass of KMnO4, that's a 4, then I would need, let's see, I have one potassium here. So potassium is 39.098, and that's grams per mole. And then I have one manganese, and that's 54.938 grams per mole. And I have four oxygens, so that's four times 15.999 grams per mole. And if you calculate all this uh, for the molar mass, you should get 158.032. And this is grams per mole. Okay, so now I'm ready to calculate the moles of solute. So I have 5.92 grams of KMnO4. And I'm going to set up my conversion train tracks here. And I know to go from grams to moles, I can use the molar mass. And I want grams to be downstairs so that the grams cancel and I'm left with moles. So this is 158.032 grams of KMnO4, potassium permanganate, are in one mole of potassium permanganate. And that's it. That's my conversion. The grams will cancel. I'll be left with moles. And if you do this on the calculator, you end up getting 0 0.037456 and this will be moles now of potassium permanganate. Okay, so that takes care of the numerator. For the denominator, I need the liters of solution. Well, I have 200 milliliters of solution, and I want to convert that to liters of solution. And I know that in one liter, there are 1,000 milliliters. So if you do this conversion, you end up getting 0 0.2, 0, 0, and 0. You just keep the same number of significant figures. And that'll be liters. Um, and I know I shouldn't be keeping this uh, many significant figures here, but what we'll do is we'll do the calculation, and then at the end, we'll round it to the appropriate number of significant figures. And now I think I'm ready to calculate the molarity. So the molarity of the potassium permanganate is going to be the moles of solute, so that would be the 0 0.037461 number, and this is moles of KMnO4, divided by the liters of solution, that's this 0 0.2 number right here, And if you do this on a calculator, you get 
zero point one eight seven three zero five and that's in moles per liter and we use a capital M to denote moles per liter and now let's use uh, significant figures here I have four significant figures for the milliliters I have three for the grams so let's round this uh, to three significant figures and I would get 0 0.187 moles per liter